Hi, I'm Linda Hicks, and I serve as associate pastor here at Pacific Christian Center, Santa Maria, California. You know, I grew up in the great state of Texas, and one of the things that we have there is a lot of idioms, a lot of sayings that became just part of our culture and part of us. And we do that just about everywhere. And you probably heard most of these. You probably heard, hold your horses, or I'm pulling your leg, or you're up a creek without a paddle, or you're hungry as a bear, or the buck stops here. Maybe you're playing it by ear, or a wolf in sheep's clothing, or we're preaching to the choir. Well, I think sometimes these sayings begin to lose their origin and even what they mean. Uh, we just take them for granted, kind of sometimes like when we're reading God's Word. That over familiarity with what we've been reading begins to help, just, we get, there begins to be a little bit of a disconnect for us. Well, today I just want to remind us of something that's the truth that we need to keep our eyes on. And one of the songs that has been resonating in my heart that I've been singing all week long is this song that's sung by Crowder and Torin Wells. And it says, All my hope is in Jesus. Thank God my yesterdays are gone. All my sins are forgiven. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Well, this song has been resonating in my soul. And then all week long, the verses that I've been reading in the Bible and the, in the scripture have been pointing me back to this one thing. All of our hope is in Jesus. Well, it's not just an overused phrase. It's not just a saying that we have become overused to. It has such power and has such impact in our lives. All our hope is in Jesus. You know, the apostle Peter, he wrote to the church in the early church to encourage them about this blessed hope that we have in the Lord. And he says this to us in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 and 6. He says, Praise be to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and in an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. And this inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power into the coming of salvation. What a powerful reminder the apostle gave to us to focus our attention and our minds on Jesus and all that he has for us. It is that hope we have in him that brings us encouragement and all the trials that we have in this life. And he reminds us that though we will have trials, they're not forever. They're just for a little while. And the interesting thing is, is the Apostle Paul, he went on to say some of these same things. He said this, he said, For the grace of God has appeared and offers salvation to all people while we wait for the blessed hope. He wrote these words to encourage Titus during this time. And he went on to say, This blessed hope is the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself to redeem us. While the early apostles and the early church, this is what gave them hope and this is what gave them strength is focusing themselves and their eyes on Jesus, even in the midst of all kinds of trials. All my hope is in Jesus. Thank God my yesterdays are gone. All my sins are forgiven. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. I just want to leave you with that today. I want to encourage you. This isn't just, I'm not, you're not up a creek without a paddle. You've got the Lord. He is with you. And He is going to be with us and give us hope.